Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. It's your friendly neighborhood content creator. I wanted to talk to you guys about Venti, as he is one of Genshin Impact's forgotten archons. There's been no information, nothing. We haven't seen Venti in such a long time. And I wonder when we'll see Venti next. I wanted to talk to you guys about Venti. I don't think I've made a guide in the past, so here I am. Venti, I still think, is one of the best characters in the game he provides so much for your team especially especially if you stack him with elemental mastery it's going to help you a lot and venti has this special thing where <laughs> he was made without thought his elemental burst this is where he gets all the damage from this is where he gets his whole shtick he gets elemental absorption obviously and this elemental absorption does more damage bonus damage his elemental burst only costs 60 it's so strong it's pretty you can pretty much have it all the time because of his talent in which he gives you 15 energy back once you use the uh, you know the burst he has an ener energy recharge as one of his as one of his ascension stats now he's his best set is the Viridescent Venerare. This set is really good because it decreases opponent's elemental resistance to the element infused by the Swerve. Venti can do absolutely insane amount of damage within his elemental burst. And it really does make a huge impact on the team. You could have constellations on Venti, but it's not going to do much. The C4 is really good, as well as his C6. But Venti is super powerful. C0 now... What you want on Venti on his artifacts is actually, um, you know, Elemental Mastery. However, I do not have a full Elemental Mastery kit at the moment. But once I do, I'll make sure to put it on him. Now I'm going to be going to the Abyss to show you guys the absolute powerhouse of Venti. Obviously, the Abyss, it hasn't shown Venti that much love. However, Venti is still very good. He's still a good character. And I definitely think that if he does rerun, you guys should consider getting, re you know, getting Venti. All right. Obviously, Venti is not going to be powerful at all against, you know, single target opponents. So I probably won't go to floor 12, unfortunately. But we are going to be going to floor 11, which has a bunch of opponents. So this shouldn't be that much of a bad time. All right, we're going to be using Xiao here. But as you guys can see, Venti in this current abyss doesn't really do anything to these characters because they they just don't get sucked in. So it's kind of hard for Venti to be any powerful here. And that's why people might choose Kaza over him because he does not really, you know, suck these characters properly. Although he does give the energy, you know, still does the energy recharge thing, gives you the 15 energy particles back. He just doesn't, he, he, he can't suck them. His whole thing pretty much countered by these guys. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. I mean, he still does a ton of damage if he's just near that. So it doesn't matter really as long as uh, as long as it's still near them here. Alrighty, here we go. Another example of why Venti is one of Genshin's forgotten archons is because he he just he just can't pull these guys together. He can pull the slimes, but he won't be able to pull any of the vectors together, which is most unfortunate. I must. I must say. That's why he just can't be used in current abyss. Or any of the abysses that have been, you know, available so far. He's been fully countered. Can't do much. And Kaza was just the better choice overall. Especially because Kaza gives that nice juicy elemental damage bonus. Kind of just unfortunate for Venti in general here. He can he can still do damage if they're, you know, close by or near enough. <laughs> I guess, but that's pretty much all he can do. So yeah, he, he's, he's, he's a little unlucky, I guess. So yeah, but here he does actually kind of perform because these characters now, they didn't used to, but now they can be stuck together here. So Venti's going to have a little bit of a field day with them here. There we go. Good stuff. Good stuff here, Venti. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the bear baited. Absolutely getting demolished. Good stuff from Venti over this side or this half because uh, he actually can do some nice crowd control here. Very nice crowd control. And we can use our ultimate here. The nice thing about these guys is they're actually large enough to get sucked by Venti and still be able to be hit by Xiao at the same time. 
which is very very cool indeed so yeah that was floor 11 with venti hopefully you guys enjoyed it as you guys saw that he's pretty much nerfed to the ground because these enemies just can't get crowd controlled properly by venti however there are some times where he's just really useful with your energy recharge and just overall damage dealing capability if he does get the sword reaction going but yeah i really miss using venti he's one of my favorite characters in the game and i feel like he should get his shine back hopefully he does soon in the future date but yeah that's gonna be it for me thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did consider liking this video subscribing to the channel as well see you guys in the next video very soon goodbye